SBC President Bart Barber defends tweet praising Rick Warren's advocacy for religious liberty for Muslims. Personally, the way that I feel about this is that the Southern Baptist Convention is no stranger to controversy, especially lately. Everything from the obvious liberal drift to adopting critical race theory under J.D. Greer's presidency, the disgusting abuse allegation cover-ups, as well as many other things. Beth Moore. Now would it surprise you if it seemed like the new president of the Southern Baptist Convention just endorsed Islam? Let's find out if he really did in this video. Are you tired of supporting companies that are constantly pushing the latest agenda and that hate the values you hold dear? Would you rather give your money to a freedom-loving American company? Then check out GoodRanchers.com. Good Ranchers is the highest quality American meat in the industry. They have steakhouse quality beef, chicken, and seafood. All of their meat has no added hormones or antibiotics, and it's sourced sustainably and locally. Stop paying outrageous gas prices driving to the store just to overpay for mediocre meat. Good Ranchers delivers the best meat in the industry right to your front door at a great price. Check out the link in the description below or visit GoodRanchers.com and use code Brylan and Lisa at checkout to get $30 off your first order at GoodRanchers.com. Hit that subscribe button and be a part of this community with us. I would love that. And don't forget to hit that like button. When you hit that thumbs up button, it helps YouTube push this video out to more people. Thank you to all our patrons. You can check out our Patreon in the link below. And a special shout out to Tom Hoppins, Yuri Gajan, Jack Collins, and Amy's Projects. All right, so the Southern Baptist Convention president, the brand new president, just tweeted support for Rick Warren's advocacy for religious liberty for Muslims, for Islam. And a lot of people are not liking what he had to say. But then there's some people that are praising what he had to say because religious liberty. But is there a middle ground for Christians? Is there somewhere where we as Christians can uphold religious liberty without advocating for Islam? Let's see what the president of the SBC had to say, and then I'll give a little bit of my personal thoughts. SBC President Bart Barber defends tweet praising Rick Warren's advocacy for religious liberty for Muslims. This is what Bart Barber had to say in a tweet. I'm thankful for Rick Warren's courageous advocacy for full religious liberty for Muslims. Our different opinions over pastoral complementarianism notwithstanding, it was a pleasure to meet him this week. And then it says, while some responded positively to the tweet, a number of people reacted negatively, taking Barber's words as an endorsement of Islam. So if you see right here where it says, our different opinions over pastoral complementarianism notwithstanding, if you're not familiar, Rick Warren Church Saddleback is a part of the SBC. And recently, Rick Warren uh, ordained female pastors. So he allowed women to become pastors at his church, three of them to be exact. And within the Baptist Faith and Message 2000, basically the SBC's code, it states that women cannot be ordained as pastors. Saddleback Church, they went against that. And so logically, when things like that happen, there is a call for that church that violates a certain code within the SBC to withdraw from the SBC. However, Rick Warren is the most popular pastor within the SBC, at least has the most power, it seems, the largest church in the SBC. And so the SBC did absolutely nothing. They didn't take any action against Rick Warren or his church. In fact, they said, well, you know, we're not going to take any action now, but we might later. So what Bart Barber is saying here is that we might not agree on this issue, but we definitely agree on full religious liberty for Muslims. So this is his original tweet right here that we just went over. And then he gave this response to people that had an issue with what he said. He said, okay, for everyone who reacted negatively to this, a few quick observations. It's no shocker to discover that the president of the Southern Baptist Convention is a, gasp, Baptist. Advocating for religious liberty is a core Baptist belief. If you do not support religious liberty and you are a Southern Baptist, you are as far outside the Baptist faith and message as anyone in the convention, and you'll want to be careful about calling for anyone's ouster for straying from our beliefs. So on one hand,
again, Bart Barber here is saying that it is a part of the Baptist faith and message to support religious liberty. And so he's making the argument that it's a part of the core values of the SBC, so why on earth would you have a problem with this? But, and then he completely ignores the values of ordaining women as pastors being a part of the SBC faith and Baptist message. So I don't know, he's, he's, he's able to overlook one thing, but, and then says, you know, this is part of our faith and Baptist message. You, you have to listen to me. I, I don't know. It just seems a little, it seems a little odd the way that he's, uh, he's wording it and not very consistent. And then he goes on to have a bunch of responses here. Well, let's quickly look at some of them. If like me, you differ with Rick Warren about complementarianism while agreeing with him about religious liberty. And that's all I commend him about in this tweet. Would you take a moment to ask yourself why? What is it that I am angry about? A tweet that didn't actually say anything I disagree with? Why would I object to anyone daring to say something nice and true about someone at a time when everyone else is fighting? What makes me angry about someone assenuate the positive? And he ends his tweets with these. If your Twitter feed reflects the reality that given a choice to find something commendable or something condemnatory, you'll never emphasize agreement, find it contemptible to do so, will raise a stink on Twitter if anyone else dares to do so. His words are a little convoluted there. He probably could have <laughs> he probably could have sorted that better, but yeah, so this whole thing seems really silly right now. There are plenty of comments either supporting what he said, but mostly saying, "Are you advocating for Islam?" And again, a lot of what Bar Barber is saying here, it just, it sounds a little silly the way he's trying to justify um, his tweet. Now, personally, the way that I feel about this is that yes, li uh, religious liberty is important. To say that religious liberty is not important is foolish. It absolutely is. Now, I'm not saying that Bart Barber is advocating for Islam or that he believes that other religions are viable, but I do think that we need to be more careful with advocating religious liberty while advocating other religions. Where is the line, right? So wh where, where do we fight for religious liberty and, and freedom for all Americans to either accept or reject Christianity. God doesn't force a relationship on anybody. And we can't do that either. And to accept the fact that they can either choose to accept or deny Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ being the only way to salvation. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. But how far do we take advocating for religious liberty? I think it's extremely important to have freedoms for every American. That doesn't mean that we accept or condone every lifestyle, but I do believe that Americans should have freedom. And at what point are we taking the argument of advocating for religious freedom and then advocating for other religions. Are we going to start marching for Mormons and you know, being at the parade supporting? They have the freedom to believe what they want to believe. I feel like there's a fine line here to say that, yes, there's religious liberty, but that religion isn't the way to eternal salvation through Jesus Christ. There's one way to heaven. There's a thousand ways to hell. We cannot in the process support religious liberty while advocating for other religions and holding up other religions. And he says that he's so thankful for Rick Warren's advocacy for religious liberty for Muslims. Why can't it just be advocacy for religious liberty for Christians? And along the way, freedom for all Americans. But I wanna know your thoughts in the comments below. I don't think that the SBC is endorsing Islam, but it seems like there's always something with the SBC where you're like, gee, goo, ah, ooh. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, be a part of this community. I would love that. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button either. When you like this video, YouTube pushes it out to more people. Don't forget to check out our Patreon in the link in the description below. You can go check out all the cool benefits over there in the sponsor of this video. What a smashing deal. You can find that link in the description below as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video.